colours. Today I'm going to show you how to create these really fun, bright coloured Rihanna inspired nail art looks. The first product that I'm going to use today is Nail Envy by OPI. Um, I always use this as a base coat just to prevent the nail varnish from staining the nails and also it just does help your nail varnish to last longer. The first colour that I'm going to use is by Bourjois and it is the one second gel nail varnish in all which is a really lovely gold colour. I'm using this really nice nude colour by H&M, it's called Nerd and I'm going to paint that on the fingers between the thumb and the ring finger. The next colour that we're going to use is called Plume and it's by Topshop. It's a really holographic glittery purple nail varnish so we're just going to use this as a detail in one of the designs on the index finger. Repeating the last step that we did with the Topshop nail varnish, we're going to use Ciate in Headliner which is this really amazing turquoise colour. Continuing on the same nail, we're going to repeat what we've already done with the purple and the blue and we're going to use the Bourjois One Second Nail Varnish once again, this time in shade 21, which is called Sunny Sunday. We really want to cover the whole edge of the nail in every different colour on this design, so where we've got some small gaps that we can't reach with a regular nail varnish brush, I'm just going to go in with the Topshop Nail Art Pens in pink and orange, just to fill in those gaps. Then on the little finger I'm going to use the sunshine yellow again just to tie all the designs together and I'm just going to apply that on half of the nail. Now that the gold on the thumb has dried I'm going to use the Topshop nail art pen to draw the diamonds. To paint the diamonds you just want to break it down into really simple steps. So start by drawing two horizontal lines, one slightly smaller than the other. Then from the corners of your horizontal lines work downwards to create a triangle which meets in a point. Then fill in the triangle with two more lines. This will give your diamond the faceted effect. Then just do a really gentle zigzag in between the horizontal lines to get those triangles at the top to really finish off the look. Draw another diamond slightly further down on the nail to fill out the design. For the stars, you simply need to draw three lines crossing over each other and intersecting at a point in the middle. Then you can use the nail art pen to carefully apply little spots on the nail which will look like shine. To create the outline design we're once again using the Topshop nail art pen in black. Now with your thumb you just want to hold back the skin at the side of the nail so you can get right up along the edge and just paint each side of the nail. Hold the brush really flat against the nail as so this will give you more control. Once you've painted both your sides, you can fill in along the edge of the nail, which is really simple, just in the same motion as you would do a French. The most difficult bit is the filling in the area around the cuticle, but as long as you just hold on tight to the skin around the nail and use the brush in one clean sweeping motion, it will apply really smoothly. If you do get any of the black polish onto the skin around the nail, don't worry at all because it's really easily done and it's also really easily removed. What I like to do is pour the nail varnish remover into the lid and just go in with a little brush. Just dip the brush into the lid and using a sweeping downwards motion, just brush off the excess polish. Once again using the skinny brush inside the black Topshop nail art pen, we're just going to outline all of the colours on this design. What you want to do is just draw two straight lines, one on either side of the colour, and meet in the centre to create a point, which is essentially a triangle outlining each of your colours. Once you've outlined all of the colours of a triangle, just fill in the gap in the middle with black to really finish off the design and get the colours to pop out. I'm once again going to use the pink Topshop nail art pen, this time to paint half of the little finger over the yellow with the pink. To really finish off this design on the little finger, we're just going to add some rhinestones to join the two colours together. Apply a top coat across the whole nail and then using the black Topshop nail art pen, press the nib carefully into the rhinestones to pick them up and place them onto the nail. Again using the nib, just push down really hard to secure the rhinestones into place. The top coat will dry around the rhinestones making sure they stay locked in with the rest of your manicure. Just to really finish off this look we're going to apply two rhinestones to the nude nails. All you need to do is apply a tiny bit of top coat to the top centre of the nail and using your fingers just pick up the rhinestones and push them into place. So here it is, this is the finished look. It's inspired by the bright and graphic nails which Rihanna is often pictured with. 
I hope it's helped seeing how simple, fun and effective it is to mix up colours and add rhinestones to your manicure. Hope you enjoy recreating this yourself at home and please do upload your pictures as we'd love to see your designs.